Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about program control instruction switch jump distributor. In earlier video, we have discussed about jump and return function. Here is our target that the material height in a bunker we want to maintain. If the material height is less than 800 mm in a bunker, then motor will take the speed 100% to bring the material more. Okay, if the material height in between range 1 and 2 will take the speed SP80. Okay, because it is more than the 800 per 800 mm. So, we will take the speed as a 80 percent. If the actual value range in between 2 and 3, then speed will take 70 percent. Okay. So, for this we have already program here. You can watch that video from the i button. Also, I will give the link in description box how we have done this. Okay. Today, we will do the same program by using the switch, not like the comparator here or the in range. We will use the switch, switch jump distributor. Okay. We will not take anything from here. We will not do anything here. We will use a new block function that program program control switch okay here okay here i will take the switch instruction from program control operation here i will just drag and drop okay here you can select the switch function the comparator here there are lot of data type you can compare and goes to your target level. Here is our here is our level sensor. Material height is in real format. First we have take the value from the level sensor. Then we have scale that analog input and give a, that will give a real value and this is our real value and for now we ha don't have the label sensor we will give the value from the HMI for simulating ok so here here our data type is real now and this k is our value actual value from the label sensor so I will give the here that program control that is our actual value will give the set point from the the actual value this is our actual value will give from the HMI okay here is your comparator that if the actual value is equal to this range then it will goes to the jump level 0 here I will use the less than or equal this one also okay this jump less than or equal means the actual value will less than the program control actual range one or equal to then the jump distributor will be this one distributor zero so here i will use sp not jump label as a this is our jump label okay this is our jump level 1 ok you can add more from by using star ok we will use 3 ok same thing so we will use 3 we will not use more because pro our video will large ok we will use here 3 range ok and the jump level is P2. Okay. If the 
actual value not in that three range then else jump level will take from here sp else e l s c okay now we will use the jump level this one we will use in a network two just drag and drop the jump level this one level here okay here you have to give the level name here i will use zero because our first jump level is zero okay okay now see it is jump level zero here it is now no warning means no red it is now okay black here when the actual value when the actual value is equal or less than this range the jump level will go to sp not and is scanning from the network 2 here i will use move function move okay now our set point sp not will Our set point SP not will pass to program SP final. Okay, that that SP final is our set point to our drive motor speed. Okay, but if you left it like this, then if there is any other network, then it will scan true because it start from here and scanning later one two. So you can just okay. Later I will show. Here, use the jump level SP one. Okay. Here, yeah. move program control SP one, and here program control SP final. Okay. Now here SP two move is. SP two, okay. SP, sorry, program SP final. Okay. Now there is another level that is SP else. SP else. SP else. Okay. And that I will give the constant value. Okay. That is. Hmm. Fifty percent. That if the value is not in the range, then motor speed will take as a fifty percent. SP final. Okay. Now I will download. Here one thing that we have used same comparator here, just using the comparator. But here I will use the switch function. So both case it will work. But here I will use just this program block name as a switch. So this network I will just not. I don't want to scan this one. So here I will use the always off bit that it will not scan until the enable is high. This program block will not scan. So here. Only program control switches is can because it take the power from the power rail to enable, so it will is can. Okay, download. Here you can see it is not scanning; it is scanning. Here you can see. Okay, that here. The value is now SP hundred. It will, it should be SP two. Only scanning the this one, but it is scanning this one too. This one too. Okay. And for that, the program set point when this network is scanned, the program value SP set point will be seventy percent. When this network is scanned, the value will be fifty percent. So, miss motor speed sometimes it will switch seventy percent, fifty percent. So that is wrong. 
so what we can do we can do that here if i use the return that means when the sp2 is high it will scan and pass the set point sp2 to sp final and here it should be close there no need to scan further how we can do we can do by using the return function and this return function will just terminate the scanning you can watch other video that program control instruction by using return and jump okay here we can use the return here i will also use the return okay first i will download and show you that now the else instruction will not scan okay now see this instruction is now gray means it is not scanning it is terminating here this is can this sp2 is just scan and pass the set point to 70 and return this return function will terminate and because of the arelo use here the return function will be arelo of this input of the return input here so in here you can see the eno of the program control switch is true because return function just copy to your return value to eno okay now we will use the return instruction here to okay here we will also return instruction this is our last network so we don't need to use the return function because return function just used for terminating it will terminate because this is the last network it will terminate automatically okay now download and okay now here if you use the value 700 it will take the values set point as a 100 because the actual value is less than the range 1 and it will take the speed 0 100 percent okay if it will 80 800 means it is less than or equal we have used less than or equal computer function so the value will be still 100 if you use the 801 that is more than the 800 so set point will be 80 percent so if you use 999 it is still 80 percent because it is in between that range also if you use 1000 that also 80 if it is the value is this it will take the 70 percent okay if you use the 15 percent sorry 2000 that is more than then it is take the 50 percent because we have used the else instruction that if the actual value if the actual value is not in this three range then it will take the else else this uh, level it will goes to s set point else level and here we have used the else instruction move value is 52 sp final so that way you can use program control instruction switch to control your program and you can exclude some network which is not need okay that will first your execution cycle that way you can utilize your execution time thank you thank you for watching